Alright, so we already know that we must use motion primitives to create animations with frame of motion. And we know how to turn dumb elements into motion components, since we've been using them throughout the whole application. So now let's take a look at how we can create motion components out of custom React components. In order to do that, custom component must forward a reference pointing to the dumb element within its subtree, so that frame of motion will know to animate that element. Let's see how we can use it on a thumbnail component. Earlier to set a position transition prop on thumbnail component, we had to turn the outer div into a motion component and spread all motion props passed from the outside. This approach is not ideal because it creates a tight coupling between thumbnail component and frame of motion library. So in a situation where we'd want to use thumbnail component without any animations, it would still have to bring frame of motion as a dependency. So instead, let's use a new approach with passing a reference. First, I'm going to remove imports from frame of motion, get rid of motion prefix, and all references to motion props. Now we need to pass a ref from the outside and set it on the div to which we want to apply motion props. Since thumbnail is a function component, we'll need to use forward ref function. So I'm going to import it from React and pass our component as an argument. We're still going to have our props as a first argument, but now we'll also have a ref as a second one. I'll import ref type from React and set ref arguments to be of type ref of HTML div element. Lastly, we just need to set the ref to the proper div element. Now when we switch to a grid component, we can see that position transition property is no longer recognized because thumbnail is not a motion component. To make it a motion component, I'll import motion from frame of motion and create a new motion thumbnail component by calling motion.custom and passing it our thumbnail. This new component will have all the props of the original thumbnail, plus it will use ref to forward any motion props that we add to it to the proper div inside the thumbnail component. So now all we have to do is replace thumbnail with motion thumbnail and the error goes away. Let's save the changes and confirm that position transition animation works as before. This approach for making custom motion components is very flexible and we can use it to animate components from any third-party library as long as it passes ref property inside. We can also use it with popular CSS and JS libraries, like style components or motion. Let's see how easy it is to animate them. I'm going to switch to the terminal and install style components, as well as its types as a dev dependency. Once it's done, I'm going to start the server with yarn start and switch back to the editor. We're not going to build any new functionality with style components, so let's use Sandbox to demonstrate how they work. I'll remove the code that we have left from before and start by importing styled from styled components. Next, we'll add a simple box component, which will be a style div with width and height of 10 rams and a nice blue background. Then we'll create a motion version of that component by calling motion.custom and passing our box. So now we can add it to the tree and animate its position by setting animate prop to x equal 200. I'll save the changes and we can see that the animation on a style component works as we would expect.